Lord. Okay, um, yeah, this is a response to Mark P's uh, vid on uh, worst wrestling merchandise and best wrestling merchandise. If we look at a site, which is like one of my favourite sites on the internet to do wrestling, called uh, WrestleCrap.com, they do a like, bit like, each week called Someone Brought This, where they focus on like real bad bits of merchandise. For example, they have this Katie Vick cheerleaders outfit, I'll just try and show it to you here, and it's signed by Triple H, um, yeah, which is kind of crazy and pretty horrible as you can imagine and also like one of the guys from Rescrap, Blade Braxton brought the Katie Vick blow up doll and they have shit like that but I, I've got like a ton I had like I used to have loads of wrestling figures and that but they actually got stolen from my shed when I like used, used to live somewhere else which was really gutting but like I've accumulated some merchandise over the years and I like, still have some stuff from when I was younger um, that like could either be considered bad or good depending on how you look at it. For, for instance, I have like a number of wrestling games which are like pretty fucking shit. Steel Cage Challenge for the NES is a pretty fucking poor game, for example. Um, WrestleMania Challenge, like in this box which is all good. Played this a lot when I was younger, thought it was wicked, but going back to it, it's terrible. That's wicked 8 bit music and versions of the themes, though. Um, yeah, well, recently I brought this. Nothing, this is like released by Sega Wrestle Raw, War on the uh, Mega Drive. I did a video explaining how shit I thought this was. Um, yeah, pretty terrible game. Um, Let's see. Oh, this is this takes the biscuit for worst games. The Commodore 64, very old computer. Well, old in the 80s. I had WrestleMania for this, yeah. Now this is old. Look, tapes. This is the one where you had to use tapes to load them. Um, yeah, very bad game. Um, just because of like what the Commodore 64 could do. But you got a free pin badge though. I don't know where that's got to. Um, basically, you could only be Hulk Hogan, Warrior, or British Bulldog on this. And, like, the graphics were, like, in blue and yellow. Don't know if you can see that there. Um, yeah. Um, those, that does it for games. One of my best pieces of merchandise, which, um, could consider, be considered bad as well. It's, like, something that gets featured in a lot of my videos. Rick Steiner Wrestling Buddy that I got when I was a young'un. Brilliant stuff, and look, he has like a like kiss mark, like which is painted on on his bum, and I just never really understood that. Um, something my girlfriend got me for a laugh this Easter was a John Cena Easter egg. Now that that is fucking shit, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, right now we're down to like the two kind of like worst. Best of the worst, worst of the best. Alright, something that my friends got me, like, years ago, was a Disco Inferno action figure from WCW. Look what he's, look at this. Does the John Travolta got a disco action, Saturday Night Fever. He kicks out as well. Woo! Woo! Burn, baby, burn. Yeah, and it, like, comes complete with this little bass and a, like, disco... Like light ball thing there, so that's pretty. I don't know. I think that's so bad it's good, to be honest. But I think altogether the worst piece of wrestling merchandise I've got um, is something I brought this week from the bargain basement in my local library. John Cena's album. I did a video on this. I uh, and on that video, that was the first time I was listening to this, and. Yeah, basic fuganomics on the back cover, yo, John Cena looking all deep and hard. Um, yeah, still got the palm sticker on it, as you can see. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be listening to that again in a hurry, Pfft, that's for sure. Okay, I hope that's all good. As far as best wrestling merch goes, I have a shitload of DVDs and that. 
I need some like good computer games, but you know, too much to dig out. Anyway, I hope that answers a question. Cheers.